Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at our next graph. It's called the stem and leaf display. Kind of like the dot plot. It gives you a very quick idea of what the distribution is of a particular data set without actually having to go through all the trouble of first tabulating the data and then putting it into a graph. See what I mean? We'll take the same 19 exam scores. Notice that the first digit of each score is over here, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then here we put in the second digit as they occur. So in 76, that means we simply put a 6 there, 86, put a 6 there, 74, put a 4 there, 84, put a 4, 82, and I think you begin to see the pattern, 68, and then we have 96, and 78, and 66. The second row we have 74, 76, 92, 78, 82, 74, 76, 52, 88, and 68. And notice it gives you a very quick idea of the grade distribution in our particular data set. And it's done in just a, a quick try like that. You just simply copy the second digit down and then you can see that there's one occurrence of a grade in the 50s, three occurrences of the grade in the 60s, two, four, six, eight occurrences of a grade in the 70s, two, four, five grades in the 80s, and two grades in the 90s. And so again, we kind of have a sideways bar graph if you think of it if you don't take this and you upright it you would then have a bar graph giving you that great distribution but it gives you a very quick look at what's going on and so there's some other examples that i will show you later when we deal more with the stem and leaf display on how it can actually get a very good picture of what is going on so stay tuned and we'll show you another great example of the leaf display or the stem and leaf display as we call it